Blessings and love. It is always a great day here at Refuge and Fortress. My name is Emmanuel O. And I'm Lani O. Did you know that money is one of the main reasons why many marriages lead to divorce? Absolutely. Today? Of course, there are many other reasons why people mm -hmm. go ahead and get divorced. Yeah. But money is right on top of that list, yes. even in Christian or kingdom relationship. Mm -hmm. We're talking the secret spending, mm, the lavish spending, the unplanned help outs to friends and family, yes. and even the unplanned expenses that just hit you out of nowhere. I mean, <laughs> the flat tire, <laughs> the medical bill, and the all kinds of bills all that, kinds you're, of that you're now ready for, and they just yeah. come out of nowhere. Yeah. These things can create tension in mm -hmm. any relationship, and of course, they can lead to constantly fighting over money. money. Yeah. So today we're going to be discussing five tips on how to stop fighting over money coming up now. we were planning for Eagles Night, yep. a monthly program here at Refuge and Fortress Network. And you know, there's a lot of budgeting, a lot of you know spending wisely because there's so many things we had to put in place, mm -hmm. so many things we had to get. And for the refreshment, I wanted to make a mocktail. Mm -hmm. So this mocktail consisted of orange juice and grenadine. So we decided to go to the store <laughs> to go get orange juice and grenadine. And I walked into the store with an agenda, <laughs> came back out with the bag of orange juice and grenadine with a bill of $80. She came yes. back with a bill of $80 and you can right. imagine my surprise He's and my shock. I was like, like, what's going on? How did you spend you got $80? orange juice and grenadine and <laughs> you came out with a bill of $80. And the problem is it wasn't even about the money that right. was spent that day. It was more so about how um spending wasn't Wisely. spent in a wise yeah. way how did you go to the store come out of the store with an 80 dollars bill and you didn't stop for a second to think wait a minute how much was that juice how much what, was you know what did i buy it's just orange juice what you kind know. of oranges did i get is yeah. it a high-end orange juice or a regular orange juice like what happened so right. and a lot of arguing happened back and forth which led to us not talking the rest of the day mm -hmm. you know and fighting over money can lead to division yes. it can lead to lack of trust mm -hmm. it can lead to allowing the devil to enter your union it Absolutely. can lead to disrespect yes. and, and using unnecessary abuse Abusive language, language you know you know yes and ultimately it can lead to divorce so our first tip on how to stop fighting over money is remember you are in it together yes. every marriage or relationship that will eventually lead to marriage mm -hmm. should maintain a mentality of oneness or togetherness yes. especially when money is starting to become a big issue in the marriage you know you want to be as transparent as possible you know you want to you want to talk to each other and if that even means putting your money together in a joint account absolutely yeah. keep in mind that there is no mine or yours in a kingdom relationship mm -hmm. it is ours yes. when it comes to marriage or a relationship that is going to eventually lead to a marriage the bible says and the two shall become one yes and that's a period yep <laughs> The second tip on how you can stop fighting over money is knowing each other's strength and weaknesses. Absolutely. Look, the reality is you are two different people mm. with two different spending habits. Mm -hmm. So you have to know who the spender is, you have to know who the saver is, and then you have those two traits, you bring it together and have them complement each other. Absolutely. That's how to make it work. Absolutely. You both can be savers. That's just boring. Mm -hmm. Frugal, but boring, boring. right? <laughs> And at the same time, you both can't be spenders because yeah. that would just be completely irresponsible, yes. right? So we have to figure out a way to complement each other. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be a saver. It's okay for the other person to be a spender. We come together find and figure out a, a way to find a balance. Remember, no one is wrong in their habits. Mm -hmm. We just got to make it work. Marriage, for the, for the most part, yeah. is it's all about, about making it work. The third tip on how to stop fighting over money mm -hmm. is budgeting. Budgeting, budgeting, budgeting is very, very important. The reason why most people fight over money in a relationship or marriage is because they're not keeping track of what's coming in and definitely what's going out. We need to start knowing what's coming in, how much are we making really, yeah. and how much are we spending in expenses. This way we're able to have full control over our financial situation. As tough as it can be sometimes, we definitely need to plan 
accordingly when it comes to money. Absolutely. And budgeting is not all strict and boring. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make it fun. You Absolutely. can also plan the fun things like vacations, yep. ba vacations, mm -hmm. you know. Vacations. You know, you can plan all the good <laughs> and nice and shopping and mm -hmm. dating and mm -hmm. shopping and date nights and shopping and more shopping and more shopping. <laughs> <laughs> You can plan all the shopping that you want. The whole point is allocation is the vital key here. What Absolutely. are you allocating to what? Absolutely. That's what's important. Absolutely. And then the fourth tip that we have on how to stop fighting over money is you plan the future together. Mm. You plan the future together. So when you're dating with a purpose or marriage is in view or you're already married, right? The whole point is that we're coming together to do life together, mm. to live a life that we envision for ourselves right, together. together. So we're planning towards that future together so we're planning a life together right so and we have to ensure that we are seeing that vision together we're working towards that vision together and you know what to get to that plan to get to that future right. that vision that we have for ourselves money is a vital tool yeah. and machine that we're gonna use yeah. to get there so it's very important to um, plan for the Absolutely. future uh -huh. when you have future goals and future dreams mm -hmm. and you know the dream cars the, the dream, dream house, house right kids in, in college, college absolutely you know, it gives you something to look forward to mm -hmm. and it gives you a reason to be in agreement when, when it, it comes to money. saving yep. money absolutely you know? so absolutely that definitely helps absolutely a lot. absolutely and finally 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 the last tip that we have on how to stop fighting over money mm -hmm. is be a giver yes. be a cheerful, cheerful giver. giver listen as you guys already know, we are all about that kingdom fulfilled life. So mm -hmm. we definitely got to put this point in there. Yeah. Giving is vital, is very important. And living a kingdom fulfilled life. We fight over money because you know what? To be honest, there's not enough it's of not the enough. money. That's why we keep fighting <laughs> over this money so that we can save, so that we can be uh, frugal, so that we can be wise and cautious on how we spend. But when we got it like that, mm -hmm. it's there's not really much fighting yeah. going on over money therefore to have money in abundance one of the principles of prosperity in kingdom living mm -hmm. is giving absolutely. and tithing absolutely you know because when you give you will receive yeah so therefore be a cheerful giver, giver. yes giving is receiving that's yes. the whole point right that's one of the principles of prosperity in kingdom living so we want more money so we should give yes. so that more money can yes. come to us Cheerfully. and we can and it can definitely help us stop fighting stop fighting over <laughs> money and that's all we have for today we hope we've shared a, a tip, tip or two, two to help solidify your kingdom union today yes don't forget to like subscribe share and comment down below absolutely and as always be the light be the salt and remember all, all things, things are possible, possible if you believe, believe.